All right, it's a new day. We're gonna make some progress on this thing. I had to take a break yesterday because I straight up pulled something in my neck. It feels a bit better today. But I'm gonna tackle this bearing next, see what went wrong. Hopefully I don't have to replace the whole axle. I just talked to this guy at the store that I bought that axle from. He said usually when it reaches this point, you've already like honed down the spindle and you have to replace the whole axle. That would be so terrible. All because I didn't put enough grease in this thing? That's crazy. No way. So we're gonna do that and then we'll focus on painting the rest of it, getting it all prepped. And I think it's gonna look legit, especially when pulled behind that beast right there. See all that movement. That's not good. Hopefully the spindle's okay. Disintegrated. This part's got. That's awesome. Doesn't want to come off. Why? Oh. Okay. That spindle just ruined. I really can't tell. I don't know what I'm looking at here. To be completely honest. You can see some some warping and some signs of high heat. So that obviously got pretty hot. This piece here might have welded itself on. If you've ever seen like friction welding, it's pretty cool. Essentially they just spin two pieces of metal together super fast and they weld themselves together. So I believe that this could be welded on there and I might have to get a new axle. It would really suck. That's uh... That's really on there. Yikes, that's not good. So I went out and I bought this torch. I'm gonna to introduce a little heat to the mix. Can't be serious. Crazy. I really fucked up the spindle there. This is probably not gonna be usable, but at least I'm learning something about it. Okay, that's off. I'm actually surprised they got that off. But the spindle's jacked up. Here's what our spindle looks like now, and it's pretty messed up. I mean, honestly, doesn't look doesn't look healthy. It doesn't look clean at all. And uh, the chances of it failing again are pretty high. But I really don't want to replace the whole axle since I literally just bought it. So I'm gonna try to get some miles out of it. I bought all new parts at the trailer store, and we're gonna we're gonna reassemble this thing the right way. So in my experience, there's not a whole lot of consequences for doing things yourself. You know, worst case scenario, you gotta pay a little bit more money, but to pay someone to do this probably still would have been more money than it's gonna cost me overall. And I've learned, you know, a pretty valuable lesson. It kinda sucks, it does, but still, I'm not mad about it. You know, I just, we weren't, uh, we weren't paying attention. We were just kinda hanging out, probably drank too many beers and, uh, we didn't, we didn't install this correctly and now I'm paying for it. But 50 bucks in new parts, hopefully this axle holds on. 
I learned a good lesson. Got some more content for you guys. So really not, not a huge loss. All right, let's try to do this the right way this time. We'll see what we can do. I got all my parts here. Uh, and I'm gonna start off by just really wiping out the, all the grit and the grime, just really trying to get it clean. So I tore up an old work shirt because I don't want all this metal flakes and all this crap to be in here. We're gonna uh, repack this thing. We're gonna do it right this time. And everything should be okay. And this is how they say to do it on the interwebs. He's just gonna go right back in place here. Ooh, she's tight. Now, I know in my videos, I'm like narrating stuff as I go, and it sounds like a how-to. <laughs> but to be honest, I hate making how-to videos because you're held to like the highest standard. Everyone thinks you know what you're talking about, and I don't. Now, the whole thing is gonna be dependent on whether or not this is gonna press back on there. There's still so much play though, that's what doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, that's already pressing it in place, that's good. So here's what I didn't do last time, which was press this guy in, then back it out, then press it in, then back it out. Way better. <laughs> I think this is gonna work and I'm pretty sure it's gonna last a good long time. Uh, I'm sorry, if I led any of you guys astray or gave any bad advice in that last video. Like I said, we're all kind of learning and I hope you guys don't take my word for it. I hope you do your own research and uh, learn this stuff as you go, kind of like I'm doing. So if you um, subscribe to the channel and you follow along, you'll kind of find out if this fix lasts or if it doesn't. But uh, it's definitely packed full of grease now and I'm going to put these caps on and we'll call it a day. Is it poop? It's never good. You wake him up and you start laughing. What's that smell? You figured out how to open the um, uh, diaper ointment. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can smell it. It's all... <laughs> you reek, man. I don't know how you do it. I twist things on. Come on. Hey, Dude, he's so greasy. Hey, That's never coming out of the carpet. God, we need to get a baby monitor. We cannot leave him unattended in here anymore. He's addicted to smearing things. The silent smearer returns. Oh yeah, he smeared it all over. I'm just thankful it's not poop. Oh no, buddy. What happened? Oh, uh, okay. It's literally wet, honey, with diaper. That is, oh my gosh, that's so much. It's the whole tub's out. empty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sterling. <laughs> Damn it. Where are you going? You gotta change. <laughs> Bath water's not gonna do anything. This kid's gonna be waterproof till the day he dies. <laughs> Come back here. All right, so I got the bearings wrapped up. We're gonna get back to painting this thing. We're gonna work on the black. Also, side note, I was helping Desiree move a couch and I found my favorite hat. Oh! Sterling thought it'd be a fun idea to dump all of my substrate onto the ground. And so I vacuumed it up with a dirt devil and it's full of chunks. So that really sucks. Hopefully, they're not too noticeable. Hopefully this is for the bed of the truck, so it'll just look like a bed liner, I guess. Ooh, those are some big chunks.
So these little gas can holders on the wheel wells have been the biggest pain in the ass. <sighs> Get out of here, bee. God, the bee has returned. I told you he'd come back, Desiree. There he is. Don't even think you can nest here. Anyways, <laughs> these things are being so difficult. So the army used like this crazy, invincible thread locker. So I have to use that torch to heat them up and then very, very quickly have to throw a wrench on them and use this impact, which I had to go borrow from Tyler to get these things off. So literally, it's been a matter of days trying to get these things off. Uh, the trailer looks pretty good though. I'm gonna do another coat of black. Doesn't really need it color-wise, but there's some patchy spots. So I'm gonna go fill it in, one more coat. That'll make it a little bit more scratch resistant. And then I gotta go around and tape off the little fine finish areas and get this thing looking real clean. All right, check it out guys. Double coats inside, looking good. Now I got some matching spray paint. This is the rattle can version of what I've been rolling on. I'm hoping it's a real close match so I can just go in like spray in the areas that the roller can't quite fit. It's a lot easier than using that little sponge thing. See, I'll have to go back and fix little areas like that. I don't want it to be perfect. It really doesn't need to be perfect. In fact, one trip out, it's gonna get so dirty, you won't be able to tell what's paint and what's dirt. But, I think I am gonna go run around with some tape and get it looking good. Always give everything 100%. <laughs> My buddy Tyler's on his way. He's gonna help me lift the canopy onto the trailer. I don't think you guys have seen the canopy yet. We picked it up a little bit ago. It's designed for a Ford F-150 eight foot bed and it fits perfectly on our army trailer. It's awesome. And what I'm trying to do is kind of design like a cool DIY teardrop trailer. Something that'll keep all of our gear dry. Uh, we'll have a tent above us. We'll have a sleeping area on the inside if we want to sleep on the inside. Or it just can keep the dogs in there or the kids in there or whatever's gonna be in there nice and dry and safe and locked in. So super stoked. I can't thank Tyler enough for all of his help on this trailer. It would not be what it is today if it wasn't for all of his help. He also runs a YouTube channel called TS Gear where he does cool gear reviews. At the end of this video, there'll be a link to his channel. You can click on there, go check him out. Drop him a subscribe as a thank you from me to him. All right, let's try to lift this thing on there. I'm so stoked about this adventure trailer. Just look at it. It looks like an Arctic penguin scientist adventure mobile. <laughs> There's still a lot to do on this trailer. We gotta fix some struts on it. Needs new shocks. We need to mount the roto packs. We need to come up with a way to mount motorcycles. I'm not your mama. I'm your dad. Hit the subscribe button. Tap that notification icon. Leave a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. That way you don't miss out on the updates on the M101 Military Secret Penguin Expedition trailer. And I'll see you guys in future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye! <laughs> Why are you so fussy?